ಅವಾಗ ಮಳೆ ಹೋಯ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಬೆಳೆ ಬೆಳೀತಾ ಇತ್ತು ತಿಂತಾ ಇದ್ದು ಇದ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದ ಇವಾಗ ಬೆಳೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕೂಲಿ ಪಾಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ತಿಂತಾರ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಕಾಲ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಕಾವೇರಿ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ನೀರೇ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಫುಲ್ ಸುಂಡೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಕುಡಿಯಕ್ ನೀರೇ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಅವಾಗ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಒನ್ಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ ದಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಲೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಟಿ ಟು ರನ್ ಡ್ರೈ Tamil Nadu and its capital city are struggling to meet the water demand of its citizens. The Indian farmer they say is born in debt, lives in debt and dies in debt. A harsh truth closer home in Karnataka which is at the brink of a crisis in one of the most fertile regions of the state, the Kaveri Belt. The rivers in India are in a serious condition. On an average, all rivers in India are depleting approximately 8% every year. in 16 years most rivers will be gone 8% drop almost 7 months in a year kaveri doesn't reach the ocean it dries up right here somewhere today it is 46% less than what it was 40 years ago your children or maybe their children will not know what is kaveri when we launched the larry for rivers moment We did over 50,000 art competitions around the country because we want the children to become conscious. You won't believe this. Many children painted brown sand and they thought that's the river because that's the only river they have seen. The biggest concern is not even water. The biggest concern is soil. There is not enough organic content means you can't hold water. India has 160 million hectares of arable land. Of this, 104 million hectares of arable land is under distress, soil distress. This means this country is going to have serious problems about growing food in the next 15 to 25 years. With 1.3 billion people, if you can't grow your food, that's going to be the biggest disaster. 96% of our rivers flow only with rainwater. If you have vegetation, our ability to hold the rainwater is enhanced. Either the rainwater which happens approximately in 45 to 50 days in the year, it all flows out within the next 50 days. The only way you can slow down is by vegetation, simply no other way. Increasing the forest cover is out of question with the kind of population pressure we have. So the only way is to transit them into agroforestry. We have converted literally over 69,670 farmers in Tamil Nadu. Their incomes have gone up five to ten times in a matter of eight to ten years. Right now in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, we are launching what's called as Kaveri Podium. Twenty-five of us will be riding motorcycles from Thala Kaveri to Tiruvavur in Tamil Nadu, all along Kaveri and create not only awareness, We are talking to both the governments to support the farmer to move from regular cropping to agroforestry. All it takes is three to four years of subsidies to help him transition. After that, he doesn't need support. These four years, if you support him, he will shift to agroforestry. Once there is economic benefit, after that, even subsidies are not needed, people will anyway shift. Kaveri Basin amounts to about 83,000 square kilometers. We want to convert one-third of the Kaveri Basin into agroforestry. If you do this, the forty-six percent depletion that's happened in the river waters will come back. River will flow once again, farmers will be rich and well-to-do. When I was speaking at the UN, I said, I want to officiate the marriage of economy and ecology. Only then, we will produce something significant. Ecology is not against the economic well-being of the people. Economy and ecology have to go in hand in hand. How to do our economics in an ecologically sensitive way, this is the important thing. This project is called Kaveri Calling because she's been calling. Can you hear is the question. Hello, can you hear? Kaveri is calling. Nadira.